What do you see are some of the biggest financial mistakes that couples make when they merge their finances together and then just the ongoing management of that as well? My biggest thing that I've come across is that typically uh, one spouse will take over the role of managing everything and many times the other spouse kind of leaves it to the one that's managing it and doesn't have much of a clue. The person who's managing it gets is, feels that the other person has a, a decent handle but when I probe and ask the, uh, more questions, many times it appears that the, the uh, spouse which is not handling the finances doesn't have much of um, an idea of what's happening. So I think it's very important that both spouses get very involved in the overall financial planning process so that both are aware of what's happening in their life. That's a great point. You know, we do talk about it in the series how we want both partners to be part of the process. It doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, you both have to have a 50-50, you know, um, part into it. I mean, I think it's important that both are together in it, but one person may take the lead. The other partner, though, has to be involved. There has to be transparency. Transparency, information sharing, uh, I, um, strategy sharing, and also uh, basically the other partner should be aware of what's happening. Maybe the partners do an annual review and sort of say this is where we stand because typically when you do taxes, only one spouse ends up doing the taxes. So if you both sit down and see what the incomes are and the taxes are and then look at uh, what your overall financial situation is, that might help matters a lot more. 